Hey everyone, this is Reggie from Restore Plus Physical Therapy. Uh, one of the things that I started doing since we had this, you know, all this, uh, the craziness that's happening with, with the virus and with the shutdown, and also upon hearing people passing away suddenly or at a young age, and some of them actually my age, and I've known people even younger than me, made me realize how fragile, how short life can be. And it made me do this change in my life. I created some changes in my life since all this has happened, but this is one of those things that I did create that change. I started doing things that I love to do, and I started planning and doing things that I would love to do. I, what I do now is I put them in my calendar so that I know I will be, I will have the time, I will be able to do it. Like for example, um, one of the things that I love to do is I just love hanging out with my son. Even though now we really don't go out, but you know, we play at home. Uh, we can play video game here and there, watch a movie together, we talk, you know, all those things. We build stuff together, I'm showing, uh, showing him how to use a computer, um, you know, all those things because I'm a, I'm a tech guy, I'm a, a tech geek, so that's one of the things I love to do and I love to do it with him. Um, I do martial arts and I got him introduced to that already. We watch uh, mixed martial arts. So those are things that yeah, I love to do and I do it with him. And, but then also, I also put in time for things that I would love to do. Because before, you know, before, you know, before COVID, before all this, I said, I would love to, you know, be healthier. I would love to be in a better, you know, emotional state, better mindset. So I put on in my calendar things that will help me get to, you know, get to that, get to that level started planning my regular exercise my mind my physical exercise mindset exercise started journaling um, yeah, meditation doing all those things i shared some some of those tips with you in other videos but aside from that that's something that i help my patients or our patients with when they come into the clinic they can have either back pain knee pain neck pain um, or even post-surgery um, we even have a lot of a uh, lot of uh, neurologic cases now Parkinson's and stroke so one of the first questions that we ask them when they come in is what do you what do you love to do what do you want to be able to do again and that is the those are the things that we help them get back to those are the things that we aim and get them to be able to to do again and to fulfill whatever you know wants and desires and, and and wishes that they they have that they're not able to do because of because of their injuries or because of the condition now that's something that i want you to do especially if you don't have any injuries you don't really have any excuse there's really no reason why i want you to be able to do things i want you to try you know put that in your calendar too do things that you love to do and not only things that you love to do but do things or plan to do those things that you would love to do so that way when our time has come when you know it's it, it's time to say bye or or you know till next time or on the uh, on the other end we have no regrets we will look back and say hey you know what we lived a full life, we're happy, we affected people's lives, we transformed people's lives, and it's all for the positive. And we actually are happy with what we did and how we lived our lives. So that's something that I want everyone to try. Let me know, you know what you think. Uh, feel free to leave in your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.